Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. This week, um, I'm going to be covering a bunch of Pog stuff uh, this week and the next week or two. Uh, that's what all that's going to be. So I think I already said that in my last video. So yeah, uh, today, today's video, we are going to be doing a deck profile. And this deck profile is, uh, it's, it's a spicy one. Um, so the whole concept of this profile is there's a new card coming out called Decidueye. Decidueye uh, is basically a great walling Pokemon. You can stop GXs or Vs from attacking and doing damage to you. The problem with Decidueye is, A, it doesn't have a ton of damage output. Um, and it's a stage two, so it takes a second. And like once you get them up, if your opponent has a, a, any counter to it, it's very easy for them to get through it. And I don't really know what the what a good partner is. So what inspired this deck list was just trying to think around like, okay, what would be a good viable partner Pokemon for Decidueye? And uh, yeah, that's where we landed on Behem. Behem does item lock. So you have a wall and an item lock. Like it's it's like Behem usually ha used to have to rely on Lily's Pokedolls. And then you only have a few of those a game and then you're just donezo, right? Uh... So this is potentially an even more powerful way to play Behem. Without further ado, uh, I will just jump into the profile now. I've given you a quick uh, overview of like why uh, I think it exists, but we'll jump into it. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, some Pokemon. Now, this might be surprising because I think most Decidueye decks are gonna be running a full line of four Rowlets, four Decidueyes, maybe a couple of Dartrix in the middle, but the concept behind this deck is you actually want to focus on Behem. So you need to find the deck space for Behem, for uh, your triple acceleration, for ways to find Behem, etc. So the way we're thinking about this is just three Rowlets. Um, the Rowlet evolves into Decidueye. I'm using the new Rowlet. You could also use the one from Cosmic Eclipse if you prefer. If you use the one from Cosmic Eclipse, you could maybe change this list to have greens exploration in it for early game setup. Um, so that's definitely an option to consider. But three Rallets, one Dartrix because Item Lock is a deck that is out there, including the list that we are making, but Vikavolt in particular. Uh, so you may need to manually evolve into a Dartrix over a turn and give up a prize or two. And then we are gonna play three Decidueyes. So Decidueye is really the whole point of all this. Um, it has an ability, what's it called? Deep Forest Camo is the English translation. Uh, so it has an ability that basically says, Pokemon V and GX attacks don't do damage to it. Now, damage counters can still affect it. So um, if you have something that places damage counters or poisons it, status effects, all of that affects this Pokemon still. So something to keep in mind. Um, and there are a decent amount of single prizers in decks out there. I think ADP is playing Duraludon. Um, any of the fire lists should be playing Volcanion. That could be a really, really tough matchup. Uh, I'm just gonna say that right now. Fire decks with Volcanion just could be a bit unwinnable. No matter what Decidueye list you're probably running, that's just kind of it, right? But the whole benefit of this list is if you can get them into item lock early, then they may not be able to find everything that they need. So. Outside of those Pokemon, we have four Elgiums and four Behems. Now, Behem, its second attack, Mysterious Noise, does 90 damage. And then what you do is your opponent is now item locked on their next turn. And you shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So the concept behind this, uh, if you haven't played against a Behem deck before, is you set up your bench, right? You get your Dartrix set up, uh, and you, sorry, your Decidueye set up. And then what you do is you always have this and hopefully one Elgium on your bench as well. Um, that way you can stream them every single turn. So you're gonna go into this, attach a triple acceleration energy, hit them for 90, item lock, shuffle it all back in. Then you send up the Decidueye, and the Decidueye then can just wall out your Pokemon for a turn. Now. If you uh, don't have another Behem in there, hopefully you're playing against a deck that you are actually walling them. And if that's the case, then uh, they can't attack you anyway. So you're buying yourself turns because you don't have any other Pokemon for them to attack, right? Um, 
And depending on the matchup, like if you know that they have nothing, then putting more Elgiums on the bench may not even matter, to be frank. Um, but a lot of decks might be playing one or two counters to Decidueye. So this is actually a powerful deck, I think, to counter those counters in many ways. So we have a 4-4 line of the Elgium Behem because that's really our main attacker, preferably. And then finally, we have one Dedene. You don't want to use this necessarily because you're trying to not give up a bunch of prizes, but you are a single prizer deck, so against anything other than ADP maybe, um, it might be okay to play Dedene. This is really just you may need draw power at some point, um, and you know, you, you're a stage one and stage two deck, so it's a lot of work. So one Dedene feels right, um, even given this archetype's you know, desire to not give up prizes. So that's all the Pokemon. That's all the Pokemon. Uh, so really now we have to figure out, okay, how do we get into all of those Pokemon? And uh, the way we're doing this, now I said you could play greens if you grab the Rowlet from Cosmic Eclipse, certainly an option. But for this version, we are gonna be playing four Professor's Research to dig, as well as four Marnie. So we're doing a very standard four, four, four research, four Marnie, lots of draw, disruption included with the Marnies. Um, yeah, just a lot of ways to find cards. The nice thing about Marnie, what I love, is that you might have a couple of Pokemon in hand that you don't want to discard, like Elegiums and Behemoths. Marnie is much better for that. Um, so they can save you a lot of resources you need. And then we got one boss's order. Um, you know, I would love to find room for more boss's orders in here because I think that disruption with item lock is super powerful. So you might find space for this here or there. Um, but for now, we have one boss's order. And we have one Guzman Hala. The one Guzman Hala is, is an out to find us our uh, Chaotic Swell, which we have in this deck as well. I'll just throw that down now. As well as two other cards. We have a Tool Card, an Air Balloon, which you'll see, you'll see in a second, and our Triple Acceleration. So this is super powerful at grabbing a couple of those resources. Now, you do need to stream attackers together, which means finding Pokemon all the time. Um, so the idea here is unless you are also item locked, like if you get item locked yourself, hopefully you got into a Decidueye. The only other deck that's probably item locking you is Vikavolt. Vikavolt doesn't really have a lot of attackers that can hit Decidueye. All you have to do is take care of one Tapu Koko Prism Star. After that, they don't probably have anything else. So once you can take care of that or stop them from playing it or whatever, um, they may even burn it in the early turn. Uh, then you're okay with the, the Decidueye, even if you get item locked. You just slowly draw through your deck, attach some energy, go with Decidueye, and you got the game. But outside of that, we have uh, four quick balls to find a variety of Pokemon. Now keep in mind, this is Pog format. Pog format. Ultra Prism to Darkness Ablaze. This is not post rotation. So you're going to see some cards in a second. That would be very strange. Um, so four quick balls. Four mysterious treasures that is rotating. So uh, that is certainly something that helps this deck in this style of format. We are gonna have three Pokemon communications to put things back in in case you need to research. And finally, we have two net balls. This is a ton of Pokemon search, but the good thing about that is you can choose what to use when in terms of the resources, and you have lots of resources to keep finding those behemoths every single turn. And the net balls in particular I like because you can not only find your Decidueye, but you can also find the Grass Energy. We do have a couple of Grass Energy in this deck because I wanted to give Decidueye the option to attack if you needed. I think it would be foolish not to. So we do have some Grass Energy and that's how we can find our Grass Energy. Now, we are playing a 3-3 three, three line of Rowlet Decidueye, so we're gonna have three Rare Candies there. Um, Preferably you want to get that up as soon as possible, so I have three. I don't know if you can find the space or need four because you only have a 3-3 three, three line to begin with. Um, yeah, so we have three rare candies. We have four of these uh, switches. Let me, uh, let me redo this so I'm going the right direction. Four switches. Um, mostly because if you need to stream those attackers with Decidueye, Decidueye has two retreat costs, super annoying. Um, you want to be attaching for turn usually to the Behem, so four switches to help you get out of that until you can find one of your two Air Balloons. Air Balloon is perfect in this matchup because Decidueye has a two retreat cost, so once you get an Air Balloon onto your Decidueye, just rotating this Decidueye-Behem combo every turn becomes very, very easy. 
And once they're in item lock, they can't tool scrapper it. So as long as you can stream them together, you're, you're, you're Gucci. Uh, then we have one ordinary rod. Ordinary rod here is great for putting back Decidueyes, Behemoths, Elgiums, any of these Pokemon that are super important. Also, they're good for putting back in those grass energy. So if you lose those grass energy for whatever reason, crushing him or whatever, ordinary rod at the right time can be really powerful. So one ordinary rod. We have one pal pad. Pal pad is good. I've actually liked it at putting back maybe a boss plus a Marnie or something like that late game. Um, so if you're lucky to find it late game like that, really useful for that. We have one reset stamp because we are generally a one prizer deck. So powerful reset stamp late game might knock your opponent's boss's order or whatever out of hand. And finally, one great catcher because I just wanted even more uh, gusting. So one boss, one great catcher in the pal pad. It's what I came to in terms of like, you know, a nice balance. Now, in terms of the energy, we have, as you would expect with a triple acceleration powered behem, we have four, this so you can all see it, four triple accelerations there. Um, I'll clean this up. Everything else looks so nice. Four triple accelerations. Uh, and then we have just two grass energy. It is something that is sometimes a concern to me because if you prize both of them, then your Decidueye is doing nothing most of the game. Um, you could maybe find room for a third. But uh, I also have one Recycle Energy because Decidueye is grass colorless. So once you get the Recycle Energy on it, then all you need is really just one grass energy throughout the game. So two does still feel okay. Um, but yeah, that is the deck profile. I think it is a very interesting take on Decidueye. Actually, I think it's very viable. Um, it just depends on what is gonna be the most popular deck out there. Against um, Eternatus, Eternatus might have something like a Hoopa that can attack into you. Um, and it may have um, other things like Spiritum. How you deal with that is, you know, and, and for Ultra Prism, to Darkness Ablaze, you might even have more single prize attackers. So it might struggle a little bit sometimes. Um, and like I said, Volcanion is gonna be tough. But if your opponent doesn't know how to play against this, and if you can item lock them very early, they won't be able to find all of those things. So really what you wanna do here is item lock them early. Even if they have those techs in their deck that can deal with Decidueye, if they can't find it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. That's sort of the nice thing about item lock decks, right? So this is cool. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this list. I think I think it is super interesting. Um, there is gonna be, uh, I think there's gameplay footage of this already. I can never remember what order I put these out on, but there is or will be gameplay footage of this already as well. So you can see it in action. It beats ADP Decidueye. So uh, we did a Decidueye mirror for that matchup. So yeah. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see y'all in a future video. Carpe awesome.